Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a look at the hypodermic needle and the best way to take a look at it is just to go through a numerical example. So here we have a hypodermic needle. Um, the volume of fluid that needs to be pushed through the needle is two cubic centimeters. We want to do it in 0.4 seconds. The length here, uh, no, the length of the needle is 3.5 centimeters and the diameter of the needle is 1.35 millimeters. And we want to know how much force needs to be applied to push the fluid through the needle into the body. Of course, we're injecting some fluid there. The way to do that is to say that the force is simply equal to the cross-sectional area times the change in the pressure. The change in the pressure will be the change in the pressure in the needle and due to Pascal's principle whatever the pressure is on this side of the needle will be the same as the pressure inside the chamber. So the cross-sectional area of the plunger so to speak can be found by simply going pi r squared if we know the radius of the plunger that it's simply equal uh, easy to find the area cross-section area of the plunger now we need to find the change in pressure between the back of the needle and the front of the needle and for that we use the equation that we use for viscosity of the fluid but we solve that equation for the delta pressure and then notice the delta pressure will simply be equal to eight times the viscosity the length of the needle times the rate of change of the fluid flow through the needle divided by pi r to the fourth and if r of course would be the radius of the needle when you plug in the proper values you get a difference in the pressure of 2020 pascals that goes in here times the cross-sectional area of the plunger and we have the force required to push the fluid through the needle and that is how it's done